Sunday on Lee IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm at the Barton Card Arena in Burnham today and with me I've got WBA World Champion Cal Yafai. Um, Cal, today this press conference is mostly about you. Um, you're defending your world title against a Japanese fighter. Yep. Suguru Maranaka, I think. Suguru Maranaka. It's a good name. Not bad. <laughs> they all, a lot of these Japanese fighters, they've got similar names really, haven't they? Like, <laughs> You can't, you can't say that with you and your brothers. Nah, nah but like, <laughs> I think the, the WBC bantamweight champion, um, Yamanaka. Yeah, they've all got saying Akanaka or something like that, yeah. I don't know. Um, have you seen much of him? Um, a little bit, yeah. I had a look at him about two days ago. Um, had a flip through, what's his last fight. Yeah, he's a, it's a, it's a good fight. He's, um, he's tough, comes forward, doesn't take a step back. Um, puts them together a while. He's, what, I think he's like 20, 25 and 2, one draw. He ain't lost since 2006. Two losses on a split in a majority decision. Um, so he's, he'll be durable, no doubt about it. So he'll come, he'll come and, he'll come and uh, give it a right go, no doubt. Um, obviously, I know you, you can get up for any fight and you're, and you're quite talented in yourself. But um, fights like this where he's sort of an unknown quantity because he's never really boxed anyone that we know over here. Yeah, yeah. Do you sort of train that a little bit harder to... I train hard anyway, you know. Um, I give everything training-wise for my last fight to win the title. And now I'm training even harder than, than before because I know everybody's, everybody wants what I've got. So he's going to be coming here to take what I've got. Um, but I'm not letting him take my, uh, my bread and butter off the table. So, you know, I've, got, I've, got, I've just got to make sure I live the life train hard as I do and um, make sure I do a job on this kid on May 13th. Oh, we've got the fight over here. Did you not fancy going to Japan? <laughs> nah, I don't, I don't want to go to Japan. Um, unless unless there's, there's some next level money on the table. Yeah, a few yen. But um, yeah, I'd rather, I'd, rather, I'd rather build my fan base here, uh, fighting at home in Birmingham. Um, yeah, so I can't, I can't ask for much more, really. Obviously, your brother's on the card fighting unbeaten Sean Davis. Um, Two, obviously you're in a tough fight and so is he, he's probably his toughest test to, to date. Um, are you confident your brother can overcome this hurdle? Very confident. Um, I've, seen, I've seen quite a lot of Sean Davis. I spied Sean Davis a few times myself. So is your brother, he was yeah, just saying. Yeah, yeah. so um, yeah, I've, I've, got, I've, got no, um, I've, I've not really got any worries for him in that fight. No disrespect to him, he's a, he's a, he's a nice kid, very nice kid. Um, and no doubt he'll come and try and give Gamal help. It's, it's, it's bragging stakes. He is. Uh, He's from Birmingham, was he? From Birmingham, yeah. So, but yeah, I think he should have a bit too much in the locker. He, he, you know, he punches harder. He's technically better. He's faster. He's fitter. You know. Speaking of other Birmingham fighters, the uh, savage Sam Egan, the man of very few words. Um, I was trying to speak to him a minute ago. He's fighting for the European title. Um, Sam's story is a bit different to yours, obviously. I, I spoke to you the other day. Um, and you said that you had a platform to fight on and you, you come through and it's sort of not handed to you on a plate but a lot easier where as Sam's story is uh, completely different. Do you respect yeah, yeah. him for that? Yeah, of course. Uh, like, I said, like I said to you before, you know, he's come from, from nothing. We all have, like, people seen my, my upbringing that say the same thing, but because we're, we're na very na naturally talented, as people, people say, um, it's managed to get us through the amateur setup winning the amateur titles, being on the GB setup, and then obviously once you're doing well on that setup, it, you know, it bodes well for the pros and you get the, the top promoters and everything else. So we, he hasn't had that kind of that kind of story. So he's basically come from nothing, like you've heard before, wanted to be a journeyman. Too good to be a journeyman and it's mad how he's took, how he's took his career on in the last couple of years. I mean, a few more fights, he could be fighting for a world title. Right. How crazy would that be? It, it just shows, you know, if you dedicate your life to the sport, Anything could happen. Um, I've told many, many kids, any, anything, anything can happen. Um, boxing for world titles, winning world titles. Um, obviously, it brings a lot more. Then brings a lot more. People want to watch you. You know, fans. Um, obviously, more money. You know, it's, it's all good. Money's a good bit, though. Money. That's what it's about. Though, it's, so I know. just see your Porsche keys down there. So uh, <laughs> I, know, <laughs> I know what you've been doing. <laughs> nah. Um, but uh, listen, anyway, Cal, I'll let you crack onto the press conference because I'm going to be starting soon. But um, thank you for me a bit of your time. I'm sure I'll catch up with you before the fight. But uh, until then, thank you for coming to IFL TV. No